So if you're like most people, you probably purchase a ton off of Amazon, but did you know that you could actually get paid to do a review on the products that you've purchased? And I'm not talking about like posting a review on YouTube or TikTok or other social media. I'm talking about a completely different way. And when I first saw it online, I was like, nope, it's a lie. It's too good to be true. Not at all. It is actually legit. In fact, there are people making $10,000 a month just reviewing purchases that they have made on Amazon. But how does it work? Let's take a look. So there are two main ways that you can earn money through Amazon. So there's two different affiliate programs. You have the Amazon Associates program and then you have the Amazon Influencer program. And they're kind of similar, but there are some differences. So let's just kind of get into that real quick. So the Amazon Associates program, I kind of associate more with like people who have websites, bloggers, you can have a YouTube account as well. Um, but the good thing about this program is there's actually really no requirement to get started. All you need is a website, blog, or YouTube account, and you can go ahead and get signed up. You'll get approved right away. So once you get approved, that's when you'll be able to go in and get specific affiliate links for any product on Amazon. So go to whatever product you want to recommend, create your own affiliate link, post it on your YouTube website, blog, etc. And then if somebody obviously clicks that link, then you will get a small commission. Click that link and purchases, of course, then you will get a small commission. The great thing about that, like I said, there's no minimum requirement. So even if only two people ever visit your blog, you can still sign up for the program. Now, I believe that you have to have at least three purchases within 180 days to stay within the program, but it's a very low bar, really easy to get started, a great way just to earn some affiliate commission. I recommend it to anybody who is just getting started. Now, the second way is the Amazon Influencer Program, and it's really geared towards content creators. So in order to sign up for it, you have to either have a YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, or Facebook account. And when you sign up, you have to link to that account. And to get approved for the program, they will take a look at your engagement and the number of followers. Now, there's nothing on the site that actually says you have to have a specific amount of followers or engagement to get approved. You would think you have to have thousands of followers. That's not necessarily true. I saw a video of somebody who only had like 114 followers on TikTok who ended up getting approved for the program. This right here is my TikTok profile. This is what I used to get approved for the program. And the very first thing that I want you guys to notice is the follower count because I really want to reinforce this point again. So if you guys look, I only have 114 followers. I think when I first got approved, I had maybe 10 more than So that. all that to say, just because you don't think you have the biggest of followings, go ahead and sign up anyway. The worst that can happen is you don't get approved and you can apply again later down the line. Now, once you get accepted into the program, you can have something called an Amazon storefront. Now you've probably seen these storefronts from some of your favorite content creators, but essentially it's just one place to have all the curated products that you recommend in a nice, easy to see space. And so on your storefront, you can do things like post videos, you can create lists of things that you recommend, you can uh, post shoppable pictures where you'll link to specific products in those pictures. It's a really nice way to recommend your audience to things that you truly know, love, and use in your everyday life. Now, the biggest difference between the Amazon Associates program and the Amazon Influencer program is as an influencer, you can get paid for creating product reviews. So here's how it works. So let's say you purchase something from Amazon. To be honest, you don't even have to have purchased it from Amazon. It just has to be something that Amazon sells. Well, you can go ahead and create a product review on that. All that looks like is a video more than 10 seconds, less than 60 minutes, with you showcasing the product, how you use it, what it looks like, however you want to review the product and you will be able to upload that to your storefront. Now, Amazon does a secondary review to see if that video meets the needs to be put on the product pages. So you know when you go to Amazon and you go to purchase something and you scroll down towards the reviews and you see those videos at the bottom. Well, some of those are reviews that people are posting that they will earn a commission from. So how it works is somebody clicks on that video, clicks on your video, let's say on a product page, and that video just sells them on the product. They watch your video and they're like, yep, now I'm gonna buy it. And they go up to buy that product. You will earn a commission on that. Now, the great thing about that over just an affiliate link is that's an affiliate link. That link had to be somewhere where somebody else found it, right? It had to be on your website or blog or wherever where somebody was naturally going. On this product page, that person may never know who you are, never seen you in their life, don't care about you, but for whatever reason, they like your review and now you're earning a commission. So you can imagine that these products that are selling thousands of units a month 
are going to get a lot of traffic, which means you'll potentially get a lot of traffic to your videos and earn commission sales. Now, as you can imagine, there's some people who do this really strategically. So they'll use like extensions and other things to find the products that they think they'll make the most money off of. They'll purchase those products just for the sole reason of reviewing them and earning a commission. Now they're smart about it. They know which products to purchase and how much they need to sell in order to break even on that product. And keep in mind, commissions aren't like astronomical, right? You may make a couple cents to a couple bucks, but they add up. And so there are definitely ways that you can make $10,000 a month. And if you go onto YouTube and just type like Amazon influencer program or how much people got paid to review Amazon products, you'll see there are a ton of people making $10,000 a month, $20,000 a month, just reviewing like Halloween decorations and Halloween candles and like, or Halloween candies and like random stuff, right? It doesn't have to be expensive stuff. You can literally review absolutely anything. And so it's a very easy way to earn additional income. Now, a great way to double down on your sales is also posting it in places where people are going to see it. So yes, you can just do the product videos, have it on your storefront, have it on the product page. But if you truly believe in the product, post it on your social media, post it on your YouTube, post it on your Instagram, post it other places to go ahead and drive traffic as well. Now, if you're like, yes, I want to sign up, I want to get going, where do you start? So one, start for signing up for the program, and I'll absolutely link that in the description, but also start with the products in your house. Look around your house, find a product that you really think you can review well, and make a video on it. It does not have to be a long video. You do not need a full studio. It just needs to be engaging and something that meets the guidelines. So just make sure you take a look at the Amazon guidelines to make sure that everything fits. But my plan is I am going to go all around my house and review absolutely everything that I can. I will report back on how that experience was and hopefully how much I made in the next couple of months. So anyways, let me know what you think. Have you heard about this? Do you do this? Any suggestions or tips? I appreciate you as always. Thank you for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.